Well, hello again. Thank you for joining us here at Coolest Life Church Edition. We're here at Cornerstone Church here in Claremont, Florida, which is like eight miles from Disney. They actually have church here. We'll get you a picture of the front, too. It's a really nice front, but uh, most of the traffic they bring in here through the back. We're going to check out the services, and I'm going to show you a little bit, little bit of what it's about. So if you're in town, maybe you can decide to go to this church. At least they'll give you some choices, because you've just entered the Coolest Life Church Edition. Well, looky there, I came around front really quick, just for you. Because it's raining just a little bit, sprinkling, I should say. Uh, but here's their big opening here. They got a nice little lagoon. But it's right here next to 27. I believe it's 27, which is a main thoroughfare through Claremont. And this is the front of the church here. We're about to go inside. Here they got a nice little coffee bar. I think it's free, actually. It's supposed to be cool. Yeah, got a kid check in here. You can definitely tell us it's built to be a church. I like the floors. And then they've got a 9 o'clock service and an 11 o'clock service. Here's the main entryway. They've got the uh, sound system up here. And they're going to have the band playing in just a minute. And then it's been out, so we're going to go get us a seat. God's not forcing you to serve him. God is also not uh, dealing with you at, through contractual relationships. We, we are not saved by works. We're not saved by uh, any kind of uh, a deal that we make with God. Sometimes people get into trouble. Sometimes people find themselves in an accident or in warfare. They're in the foxhole. They begin to make promises to God. God, if you will get me out of this, then I will do this. And they begin to, to relate to God contractually. At some point, they rejected him. They, they decided that they don't want to receive God's offer of salvation, that they don't want to have a life that's in relationship to God. They want to be in relationship to all the other things of this world. But when it comes to God, they don't want to be in relationship to God. And you're, you're a son or daughter of Abraham. You would refer to yourself as an Israelite or a Jew. And God's extended offer of salvation through the Messiah has been offered to you. You still can't come into that covenant. Why? Because in chapter 11, verse 29, says the gifts and the calling of God are irrevocable. And the Bible will say, listen, we're not contractual with God. And we're not coerced by God. We have a wonderful, loving relationship with God. At 6.30 p.m., we're having the perfect event for you. We are hosting our monthly connections dinner and we would love for you to come join us this is the perfect opportunity for you to come hear more about what we believe meet some of our staff and have some free dinner if you it's going to cover two games and the pizza buffet at cc's pizza so come on out we're gonna have an awesome time i will be anyone that challenges me in mini golf anyone that challenges me and uh we're gonna have a great night of fellowship together Good morning, ladies. I'm just dropping by to let you know that we have 90 tickets left for the ladies' tea December 3rd from 11 to 1. You can purchase tickets right after church in the lobby or by dropping by the church office during the week. Well, we enjoyed that service. I hope you did too. Uh, I'll try to give you just a little snippet of what to expect as far as the, uh, the band and the facilities and the uh, uh, the preacher themselves. Most of the times we do these videos, uh, you're actually seeing the, the pastor that's going to be doing the preaching. Sometimes there's a special guest. This one here was the actual pastor. So um, so that was a, a good treat. I always like to see that. But um, 
Uh, if you're interested in going to a church and you happen to be here in Claremont, uh, Florida, um, I definitely recommend that church. Very upbeat. Uh, the cushions of the seats were really good. There were no arms, uh, so there were those portable seats, but I find it to be pretty commonplace in most churches these days. But um, if you get a chance, be sure to like and subscribe to that place right there. Isn't that kind of cool? Yeah, I like that, huh? Be sure to like and subscribe and uh, send us to your friends. And look at our other videos, which one of them is going to be about this park here that we're staring at, which is actually called Orlando Park. It's one of the Thousand Trails parks. But anyway, I will let you go. Take care and God bless. And I hope you have a great day because you're now leaving the coolest life. Church edition.